This is the second video in the series of bubble sort and here we will look at another example of the bubble sort mechanism. So we start with an array with the numbers 44, 77, 333 and 11. And we see here that we have an array consisting of randomly shuffled numbers. And what we want to do is we want to sort the numbers in so that they are in descending order. So we get 333, 77, 44 and 11. All of the numbers are in descending order. And how can we do that? Well, there are a number of sort algorithms, but in this particular case, we will use the bubble sort. So we start with this array, 44, 77, 333, 11. And what we do is we compare the first two numbers, 44 and 77. And we ask the question, is 44 less than 77? Yes, it is. So we swap those two numbers around in the array and we get the following array and see we get 44 coming here and 77 coming here. Then we compare the next two numbers, 44 and 333. And we ask the question, is 44 less than 333? Yes, it is. So we swap the two numbers in the array and we get this array here. So 44 comes here, 333 comes there. Then we look at the next two numbers, 44 and 11. And we ask the question, is 44 um, less than 11? And it isn't. So what you get is the following array here. Actually, you get the array again, sort of duplicated. And there is no swap here. So what we've done here is we've gone through the first pass. We've compared all the um, numbers, so to speak. And what we get is that the lowest number, 11, bubbles up to the top. So here, after the first pass, we get the number 11, which is the lowest number in this particular array, bubbling up to the top. And hence, this type of sort is called bubble sort. Now let's look at this second pass. And we get the array 77, 333, 44 and 11. We compare the first two numbers in the array, 77 and 333. And we ask, is 77 less than 333? Yes, it is. So we swap the two numbers in the array and we get the following array here. So 77 goes here, 333 goes there, and all the other numbers in the array stay as they are. Then we compare the next two numbers in the array, 77 and 44. And we ask the question, is 77 less than 44? No, it isn't. So we write the array out again like this, where there is no swapping process. Then we compare the next two numbers in the array. Oh, actually, no, we actually stop here because what we've done here, we've got the second lowest number in place now. In the second pass, you get the second lowest number in place, which is the number 44. So after the second pass, we get the number 44, which we get the next lowest number bubbles up to the top. And we can see after this second pass here, we've got two numbers in order. Now let's look at the third pass. So we start with 333, 77, 44 and 11. And we compare 333 and 77. And we ask the question, is 333 less than 77? Well, it's not. So we write the array out again as it is. And there has been no swap. And we stop here because this is the third pass here. And the third lowest number, 77, is in place. So after the third pass, the next lowest number, 77, bubbles up to the top here. So after the third pass here, we see that all three numbers are sorted, 77, 44 and 11. And as this particular array has um, four numbers in it, 
by default the fourth number is also in place. So now we have sorted the array with three passes. That's all for now, folks.